Hello, everyone. So today, this video is going to be on my um, Anna Griffin Empress embossing machine, which I got from Home Shopping Network. I've owned a couple of um, embossing and die cut machines. I've had the original Sizzix, the guillotine one, um, and then I bought one on Amazon, which is was a roller one, and I just, I was doing so much of that that my wrist started to hurt, so I decided to invest in this, Anna Griffin Empress. So, as you can, it's a pretty hefty machine. I think it's about like 10 pounds. Um, it's pretty heavy, but it's, it's kind of compact. Um, and it has a handle like this. So there's a plug, you can plug it in, unplug it from here so you can store it easier. And you plug it in and then you turn it on the power. So what it comes with um, these embossing plates, um, it comes with the A plates, there's two plastic plates. It comes with a magnetic mat. It comes with this um, rubber plate, the C die embossing plate and a metal shim. So I'm just gonna quickly run through just what I've been using it for um, and just show you a few of the ways that you can use this. So it, uh, first I'm gonna do some die cutting. So the die cutting, I got these uh, Hero Arts Stamp and Cut. So I really like this um, because you can stamp uh, different things, but then you also can em um, emboss or cut out this thanks. So I'll I'm gonna show you a demonstration of how I'm gonna cut out the thanks with this. So with this, you're gonna do it, and it gives you directions on what to do. So the plate order. Okay, so to do a die cutting, I'm gonna use an A plate, put the A plate down, then you put the magnetic plate down, and then you put the die cut that you're gonna cut out face up. And I'm actually gonna do two of them. The other one I have is the prayers one. So I'm just gonna do two in a row like that to save time. And then I'm going to put my paper down over the die cuts. And then you take the A plate and you place it over and it's like a sandwich. And then now we're ready to run it through. So then you run it through, you press the run button. And it comes out like this. And then even, you, I, sometimes I can even use this too to make cards. But this is how it comes out. And you're just gonna, I take those out there, this is magnetic, so it's going to stick to it. I have my Cricut tool um, that I just kind of punch these things through to, to release it. So I'm just going to punch this out. So then I take my Cricut tool that's pretty sharp, and this will poke through the holes, and sometimes it'll release it. And if it doesn't release it, then I just kind of throw it down and then it comes out it's like that. So that's one. And then this is the other one, prayers. Sometimes you can just do that and it'll just carefully you peel it like that. So prayers. So that is the die cutting. These are pretty good quality. Um, the hero, the... Hero Arts one, um, and I also have used this one from Sizzix. These Sizzix ones, I have also used these. Um, it's a set of all the sayings. The, this is a pretty good quality one. I kind of like the Hero Arts ones better. They seem to, um, I don't know, they seem to cut a little bit easier than these. Okay, so that's the Sizzix version. 
and um, this one is the Hero Arts Ooh! <laughs> stamp and cut. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to show you is um, how to emboss. So I have embossing plates, and this is one of my favorites, the Doris. Um, this is a Monstera leaf. And um, how you do these is you're going to, same thing, you use your A plate down, you put your A plate down, and then it wants you to use a metal shim. And then, um, actually you don't need a metal shim. Well, sometimes you do. So it kind of depends on wh what kind of folder you have. I'm going to try it with the metal shim. Um, sometimes you don't need it. This is the Doris. I think I could use it with the metal shim. Sometimes these thicker ones, um, you might not need the shim, but we'll try it, the, this one with the shim. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your paper in to the folder, and then you have the A plate, you have the metal shim, and you just put it there, and then you have the other A plate, and you're going to put it on top like a sandwich, and then it goes in again. Okay, so then when you're done, it comes, it embosses. Can you see that? I love this one. So, and then the other side is, you know, like that. And then this is the embossed side. Super easy. I don't have to crank it. I, I, that's what I love about this. It's easy on your hands. It just goes through and it's pretty quiet if you could hear that. So that's the embossing folder. Um, just to give you an idea, this is a silvery paper. And these are ones that I got from Joanne Fabrics. Um, I think it's Hero Arts as well, but I'll show you this one. It'll be, hopefully it's pretty. This is just another folder. And this is paper that I've already cut and prepped for, um, so then they wants you the A plate, the metal shim, the embossing folder, and another A plate. So then you just run it through again. Okay, and this is how it comes out. Pretty, huh? Pretty perfect. Super easy too. Okay, so that's another emboss thing. So that's the folders. Um, and then I'm gonna just show you quickly embossing with a metal die, which I don't really do that often, but I'm gonna just show you just so you could see. So um, bear with me. So we have the, the, the metal plate then we have the metal shim. And then we're just gonna take one of these. Let's get the prayer one. The prayer um, cutting die face up. And then the material in the die. So I'm gonna put this here. But then instead of cutting, what we're gonna do is place this one, the embossing mat. It's a rubbery, rubbery mat. So you put this over it and then you put the A plate like a sandwich. Again, we're gonna run it through here. All right, let's see how this turns out. Kind of staticky. Oof, got shocked. Okay. So that's the prayers. And so this is the, if you can see it, it's embossed prayers. So that's the embossing. It, it comes out okay. I find that with the um, intricate folders or with the intricate uh, dies, sometimes it doesn't work as well. Um, to emboss it really nicely. It's not, it's not perfect, but it, this is, it's decent. So that's why I don't use that embossing feature much. So um, there you have it, uh, the Anna Griffin Empress machine. It's the larger machine on the Home Shopping Network. Um, you know, 
it's pretty hefty, but it does the job and it saves your wrists and arms from like cranking. Um, whoops. And um, you can do lots of things with it and it's, and it's super fast. Um, even just for an example, like if you have this ma magnetic mat down, I could take paper and I could basically put a whole bunch of these down all over here and put the piece of paper and cut all of them at once, which is great. Kind of like a Cricut, but then it's, it's a little bit easier to take them out uh, as opposed to the Cricut where you have to peel it off that adhesive. So that's why I chose to get this, the Anna Griffin, instead of using my Cricut all the time, it's easier for me to take it out and um, the, the die cuts come out super easy. So this is just a few of the ones I did today. Um, so hope you liked the video. Hope it was informational. It's pretty quick and easy about just how I've been using this one. If you have any questions, you can comment below. Um, or if uh, you have any comments or any suggestions, if I'm using it wrong, you can go ahead and tell me too. But thanks for watching.